I need the car back on. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's fine. I just don't want to cremate myself. <laughs> 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 know I live in Florida I've lived in Florida my entire life born raised never left and we're in the middle of hurricane season there's a hurricane coming it's a tropical storm right now but it's projected to uh, make landfall I think at a cat three now all I can think about is Katrina 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 like I was saying like I've experienced many tropical storms hurricanes and such living here my entire life so i'm not like panicked or anything i know that it's not something to necessarily like make light of because this can be incredibly tragic and devastating for a lot of people i'm grateful that i've never had to experience any large devastating event that comes from any kind of natural disaster like this really for me and my family it's just you know, being aware of what's going on, making sure that we're prepared, and then just riding through the storm. That's all that I've ever had to do. So that's what we're gonna be doing this time. Uh, today's Monday, the 28th, and I'm pretty sure just this morning, is it state of emergency or is that too serious? They declared that the hurricane was coming and they were like, okay, let's actually like start doing things. Like they, they confirmed it, like it's happening and it's real. Um, I sound so uneducated and stupid. They basically announced that all public schools are gonna be closed. They closed down my university for the week or for the next two days. Like, come on, I have class Tuesday, Thursday and they closed it Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, everything's closed down. The airport's gonna be closed and they placed a mandatory evacuation in uh, evacuation zone A. I don't live in any kind of evacuation zone. I'm far enough inland where I don't have to worry about that. Which is strange because I moved closer to the coast. I thought for sure I'd be in, in any level of an evacuation zone, but no, I guess not. That's all. I, we're just, we're gonna head to the store and we're going to pick up some essentials. Probably just canned goods. I'm pretty sure we have water. We have flashlights. We have candles, batteries. Just some canned goods, some snacks, some stuff to get us through because we won't be able to go to the store over the next few days. And you guys are gonna hunker down with us. You guys are going to endure this storm with me this week. And hopefully all goes well. Prayers to people who are on the coast who are probably going to be more affected um, than me. Note that everything I'm saying trying not to make light of a situation that is probably going to be pretty serious for others know that i'm grateful to be where i am and more than likely hopefully won't be as affected first hurricane of the season baby let's go i can already tell you that going into the store is going to be my biggest nightmare it's going to be crowded yeah. people are going to be stressed out yeah. oh. so it's like a little gross looking over there, but it's not too bad yet, everywhere else. But it's definitely coming in. Everyone's coming out with water, so that's good. There's still water inside, hopefully. It's generally not as hectic as I thought it would be, but we haven't made it to the groceries yet, so I don't know. Um, we walked past the checkout line and it's actually more hectic than I thought. If you need like really big ketchup, don't worry, it's still in stock. Nice. We've devoured the mac and cheese aisle. All of the ramen is gone. I'm just a little confused because the whole point is like, the whole point is get stuff that you can eat if your power goes out. How are you cooking ramen and mac and cheese with no power? 
grill. Yeah, but then then you're spending money on a, a grill. Yeah. Y'all are hurricane in the wrong way. But nothing. Um so this is all gone. Pretty fun and exciting. Literally can see all the way through. Thankfully, I don't think we need any paper products, so we're good. But it's just funny to walk around and see what people are grabbing and what's available and what's not. Totally unrelated to hurricanes, but this is the best smelling aisle in any store ever. I stand by it. They have the good cookies. The good little festive cookies. Aww. My favorites. I just want Diet Coke and extreme uh, cheddar, extreme flavor, cheddar, blasted, whatever, goldfish. Diet Coke and goldfish. I'll be good. This is everything. This is everything that I want, but I'm not gonna get the huge one. And I don't think they have any normally sized ones. <gasps> Jesus, my guy, he was listening. Okay, this, and I'm kind of also thinking white cheddar cheese at Groots. I don't wanna be greedy, but there's plenty here. I'm gonna snag them. I really like the, like the one or two pieces that people do leave, like what's wrong with them. I would show you the line if that didn't involve filming people who didn't consent to being on the internet. Um, just know that the line that I'm about to have to stand in is essentially the length of this grocery store. And this is a pretty damn large Walmart, so I'm going to be in line for a hearty amount of time. We didn't wait in line as long as I thought, but it's very crowded. And there's no way that there's air conditioning on in this building right now. It is warm. My favorite thing is walking out of here and seeing how just absolutely unbothered some people are. I just watched a man walk out with a gallon of sweet tea and about five or six Lunchables and that was it. Anyways, it rained while we were in there. And now it's even grosser outside and just warm and muggy. The sky got darker, but it's more humid. It just feels nasty. I came out here to check the mail, but it's already raining. Um, it's day two of our little hurricane adventure. And for some reason, I can't get the dates straight in my head, but I keep thinking that today is Wednesday. Today's not Wednesday, today is Tuesday. All the weather channels are saying that um, hurricane's gonna hit on Wednesday. I'm thinking it's gonna hit like overnight Wednesday morning. I think that's what they're predicting, but it's definitely just gray and gross outside. Um, okay, all right, okay, yep, I hear you. Eye of the Storm's gonna go um, north of us, so at least that's what we're thinking as of right now. So hopefully Tampa Bay won't be impacted that bad, but I'm hoping everyone on the coast north of Tampa is evacuating and doing what they need to do to stay safe because it's a big storm. It's not raining as hard as I thought, or in the time it took me to grab an umbrella, it like stopped raining completely, so I look like a fool. But that's my update for day two. It's like 2.30 p.m., 3 p.m., so not much going on so far today. We'll see how things progress this evening, and I'll keep you updated as to what I'm doing, because I don't think it's going to be much. 
we moved everything in from like the backyard already, so now we're just kind of hanging out. Okay, you can barely see me because it's super dark outside. It's like 8.45 p.m. And nothing so far. I don't even think it's made landfall yet. If I'm being honest, I haven't really been monitoring it that well today. I've been doing schoolwork. I haven't been looking at the radar. But I think it's pushing north, so we're not going to get like a direct hit of the eye. But the like south east side of the storm is the worst part anyways so we're still like not on the best side but it won't be like the worst case scenario for us we're very lucky but not much it's not even it's like barely trying to sprinkle rain right now there's some light breeze but it's not like windy or anything like that we did just got just got we did just get put under a, a tornado watch for the next nine hours so that'll be fun. Um, but yeah, other than that, pretty tame, calm before the storm. Tomorrow will be interesting and I'll keep you updated. It started. It's like 1.30 in the morning, I think. I'm about to go to bed, but it's definitely raining now. There's some thunder. Yeah, I don't know. The storm's gonna like go north of us, so I feel like it's just gonna be like this all night. Um. Yeah, I think we'll be all good. I think honestly, by the time I wake up, the majority of it will be gone yeah that's really all i got just a nice little nice little rainstorm to go to sleep to tonight in my weather reporter era happy wednesday the bulk of the storm is gone. Um, it's in like Georgia now. It's gone through Florida, it went through overnight. There's still some rain. As you can see, there's also a little bit of thunder and lightning, so I'm gonna try and hurry this up. And a little bit of wind, and I'm getting wet. <laughs> but um, as far as my town, little to no damage in my area, maybe just a little bit of flooding. Uh, and some branches down. Tampa Bay is kind of underwater and especially north of the bay where the storm hit is um, suffering some pretty large, I'm stuck in a tree, suffering some pretty large damage. Thankfully we are all right. Um, hopefully everyone north of Tampa is doing all right and we will be able to get what they need. I'm interested to see, because some of the models were saying that it's gonna go off on the east side um, of the United States and then swing back around. So, maybe there'll be a part two, maybe not. As far as this video goes, better to be prepared and it not be as bad as you think than be unprepared and it be worse than you think. I barely got to eat any of my hurricane snacks. I had goldfish. That was about it. I'm lucky that that's the only thing that I get to complain about, so. That's my cue to go inside. Happy hurricane week, everyone.